the interest of building all members' business skills, a different member each week is charged with presenting on a topic of their choosing in our three-minute business growth segment. The member for this week is the very ghostly Misty Henkel. Yes, we can really... hear her but not see her. <laughs> I'm actually going to pick somebody else, but before I do, I've just added in a new section, Joe. I'm not sure that you were, it's definitely not in our script, but I've just added in a new section. Just quickly, show of hands, who has a YouTube channel? Just put your hand up. Oh, that's right. We did that last week. Too. Excellent. Who would like more subscribers? Just keep your hand up if you'd like more subscribers. Great. Grab your YouTube link and put it into the chat box. Now, there's two ways. You can either do the link to your channel or you can do a link to a video of yours. It doesn't matter which one. If they click the link to the video, then they'll end up with a video when they leave later on. And um, that's not terrible because the video gets views. But put whatever you like, just put all those links into the chat box right now. And then either during the meeting or after the meeting, when I send the chat box out to everybody, I'm going to highlight these links in a different color. So you can just go through and go, have I subscribed, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, been doing an experiment. Oh, it is an educational snippet. I've been doing an experiment <laughs> with my youngest, right? So he's 12. And Noah said, what does it take, mum, to be a YouTuber? Because for years he's wanted to be. And what he's thought it was from the age of four up until 12, he's gone, I'm thinking it's actually harder than it looks now that I'm 12 and these people who have millions of subscribers and they sort of sit on the beach doing not a whole hell of a lot. He said, it looks like they don't do much. But I'm thinking that it's more than that. And so we've been looking into this for the last few weeks. And one of it is, is with subscribers. So I've been sending messages out all over the place on Facebook, on LinkedIn, here at networking events and who wants subscribers? Yes, keep your hand up, you know, if you've got a YouTube link and then put that information into the chat box. So at the beginning, three weeks ago, people were writing, yes, I'd like more subscribers. But of course, that doesn't give you subscribers. Your link gives you subscribers. So it's really important you put your link in. Now, Noah said to me, he said, I see what you're doing. He said, but, you know, I'm not going to swap subscribers in order to get subscribers myself. So I'm not going to subscribe to a thousand channels to get to a thousand subscribers. But here's the truth. It doesn't hurt you by subscribing to lots of people. It doesn't hurt in any way. So it's not like you end up with all this extra stuff in your um in your emails or anything like that, it literally doesn't hurt you at all. So if you subscribe to someone's channel and you're just swapping, in the beginning, that's how it works. You've got a channel, I'll subscribe to yours, you subscribe to mine, that's great. And then that's how you start to move up um, with subscribers. So that's what we're doing here. It doesn't hurt if you subscribe to these channels, that's great. If you end up with more subscribers, bring it. And that's really the plan here. And if you think about it, by the end of um, Business at Breakfast at the end of the year, if we get 500 people come to Business at Breakfast, the worst that can happen is we have 500 subscribers on our channels. How, there's nothing terrible about that. So uh, that's the goal. I can see all the links in now. So with that, Joe, you can um, keep going forward. There's our educational snippet. You can keep going forward. <laughs> 